this is Pop Coat Parent, your favorite podcast. And we have a very special episode for you guys tonight. I am super excited about this. We are talking about a One Piece, the greatest anime to ever exist. And we're going to explain why we're talking about One Piece in a sec. But I am one of your hosts, Mark M.F. Jones, and I'm joined by... This is Niels R.Y., a.k.a. We are on a cruise! We We are! are. (laughs) (laughs) Yes! Yes! All right. So, Niels, we're talking about One Piece. We've brought up One Piece a lot on this show before. I'm a One Piece fan. And I've I've made One Piece references. Pop cult since the beginning of the podcast, since we created Pop Cult Parent, you've been talking about One Piece. And funny enough, this conversation has lasted well before. But I sorry to interrupt you, Mark Jones. No, 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 no. So, so to give you some some backstory, I I've been pretty much you know I've been a fan of One Piece since its four kids debut in the states. Mm -hmm. I fell off, you know, when we lived in a time where dubs. And even subs were hard to come by. So there was a time where I I fell off, but I'm I'm back at it watching One Piece. But I have since since its debut, I've tried to get it it's been what, almost twenty years? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's been since almost it's twenty debut, years. That's amazing. <laughs> I've, I've been trying to get Nels to watch One Piece. I'm talking about like it, it's been and, and- and our mutual friend. Shout out to our mutual friend. And our friend. mutual friend. <laughs> it's been a valiant effort. It has been a war. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. not a struggle. Yeah. It has been a war. I mean, I, a I, war you've I, been losing. <laughs> a constant a battle. 20 year war lost. you've been losing. <laughs> <laughs> but you kept fighting. You're still standing. You're oh, still strong. Oh, my God. I never thought of it like that before. <laughs> And then the Fire Nation came. <laughs> and, Facts. and One Piece disappeared for 20 years. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, man. <laughs> so, but no, it, it's been a losing battle. I could never get you guys to watch One Piece. And we were we were recording an episode that has not broadcast yet. Just look out mm-hmm. for that episode. We recorded an episode that hasn't come out yet, and One Piece came up. And and you know what, Pop Cult? I just, I was like, you know what? Enough is enough. It's been a 20-year battle. I'm throwing out the big guns. I said, you know what, Nels? If you watch, because here's the thing about One Piece. There is a clear point where if you make it to this point and you're not a fan, you will not be a fan. So I said, Nels, if you watch the, the first 45 episodes of One Piece, and you do not like it, I'll give you a hundred dollars, right? Yes. And 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 Nels accepted that challenge, but on top of that, Nell said, keep your money, keep your money. I'm gonna watch the first 45 and we'll make an episode about it. And that's yes. where we are today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I think the my exact retort was, and you can never talk about One Piece again. <laughs> you can yes. never ask me to watch yes. One Piece again. So let me give a little bit more of this history. Let me color it in a little bit more before we jump in. I think it's safe to say that in these 20 years, I have hated One Piece. I have been a hater of One Piece. (laughs) And in the span of our friendship, I would consistently send you things talking about how so many people hated One Piece. I would send you things about like folks who would talk about how great One Piece is and be like, this is what's wrong with you all. This person had, I have no (laughs) idea what this person is saying and it doesn't make sense. And they're like, see, you got to get to episode 100. Once you get to episode 100, everything changes. And you're like, nah, bro, I don't have the time, the energy, nor the commitment to go down 100 episodes to decide if I like something. I got bills. You know what I'm saying? I got life. I got kids. (laughs) And and, and to, to really just like nail it in, it's a show about pirates. I know it's anime and I know it's Japanese folks. And anytime they get their hands on anything, they make it significantly better. I know that. Yep. But you said this. Anytime the Japanese get their hands on something, they make they it make better. it better. <laughs> they make it better. 
it's just they they took alchemy and chemistry and they made it better and they made it the greatest <laughs> anime of all time i don't get it i don't get it i don't know how they do it but they do it needless to say i'm not a pirate fan i've i've yep. i'm in the war of ninjas and pirates i am team ninja i am not a pirate friend the squash buckling all the stuff about pirates has never really been my jam so it's like telling somebody who doesn't like mayonnaise to eat some potato salad. I've just been like, no, 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 no. I don't care <laughs> that your your auntie, your favorite auntie made this potato salad. Mayonnaise is not my jam. No. Yeah. And and can I can I jump in real quick, Nels? Yes. My biggest thing I would say to you is I'm like, Nels, you you love a good story. You love good anime. I was like, Nels, yeah. you might be missing out on some of the best storytelling of all time. And that, that's how I would, I was like, I'm like, I, I feel like you're missing out on a great pop culture moment. And I'm trying to like, it, it, it felt like I was in the Civil War. And I was like, every night I was like, today on the battlefield, <laughs> I, now, again, we suffered <laughs> defeating losses. I don't know if Nails will ever come along, but the fight goes on. You know, it was just like, <laughs> like a constant yeah, you... defeat. That's the constant defeat. And what makes it even worse is that Mark was just like, just just watch the first, like, just watch an episode. And me and the mutual friend, we watched the first episode of One Piece. I watched the first episode of One Piece, and then I've watched several cl- clips of One Piece. And I was like, this show is trash. <laughs> and I would say it from the rooftops. This show is terrible. Trash. <laughs> like, I was just so adamant about how bad this show was. So you fast forward, and this is 20 years. Like 20 years. Mark and I have been friends for a long time. This I've never fought for anything decades. so hard in my life. <laughs> it, it's been so consistent. And and the and the even like, I mean, I gotta further paint this in pop cult. Mark is the plug when it comes to pop culture in this friend group. Mark <laughs> is the plug. So if Mark, if Mark mentions something, we almost guarantee that we're going to watch it and we're going to love it because Mark knows us so well. He knows what we're going to love. And it doesn't take much for Mark to get us to watch something. He's like, hey, watch this. And we'll say, why? And you'll say, you'll love it. And that's all we need to know. <laughs> that's all we need to know. We'll be like, great, say less, and we'll watch it. This is the one thing. <laughs> the one thing. <laughs> the one thing is One Piece. It's, he has fought for decades. And we've been like, hell no, Mark. This is trash. And I'm and I'm painting it up, y'all, because again, it took almost 20 years for Mark to get us to this place. He gave a clear number, 45 episodes. He gave a clear timeline, and he's and he made it a bet. And so I knew if I settled in, buckled up, and watched <laughs> these 45 episodes, three things could happen. One, I was going to fall in love with One Piece and a piece of my soul was going to break. Two, I was going to hate One Piece and I was going to have everything in my arsenal to just tear down this to show. To end the war. To end the war. <laughs> to end the war. <laughs> and three, what we're actually going to... The, the truth. <laughs> the truth. <laughs> Which I'll talk about in a second. But I knew it was going to be one of these three, and yeah, it's neither of the first two. Can can it's I tell you the first two? Oh so. man, can I tell you the energy I have going into this? I feel like you ever know that you're when you were a little kid. You ever know that your your teacher was going to call home, but you didn't know <laughs> if it was like for something good or bad. Yeah, <laughs> like and so you're just nervous. Like that's I was like, oh man, I would try to gauge. You know, you're like, I'm on episode twelve. I'm like, oh man. So we saw this. Oh, I hope he likes this. And then your text would be like, this is stupid. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, like, oh, my God. <laughs> it's, it's going terrible. So like I and then at one point you were just like, I'm not going to talk to you anymore about this experience. And you're just going to have to wait. So I've, I've just been like, like, I'm, I'm waiting to hear back from my soldiers. Like, did we do it? Did we win? <laughs> So, Pop Call, I watched the first 45 episodes of One Piece in 10 days. I am not ashamed to say 
this is not the most anime I've seen in a matter of 10 days. <laughs> I've seen more. I've seen more anime <laughs> in 10 days. So this isn't a big accomplishment in the, in the world of Niels R.Y. When it comes to anime, your boy can, can watch some anime. That being said, I watched the first 45 episodes of One Piece in 10 days. And at some points, it was terrible. And at some points, it was a breeze. I think at a certain point, I was just like, make it stop. Oh, dear God, make it stop. And then it got a little bit easier. But one thing I did is I wrote a log on my experience. And I would like to share that with you. Mark, are you ready or did you want to? Did you want to? I, I, I was just stuff before I, I'm we probably, jump in. I was just gonna say to speak on what you just said. There was moments where I was talk like I was talking you through a fever dream. I was like, "This is normal, Nels. What you're experiencing <laughs> is a normal feeling. Just ride with it. Just like, <laughs> yes, man. So, so I'm gonna share I, my log, excited. and then we'll we'll talk about just how I feel about the show and the characters and everything One Piece related." And I'll answer some of these questions that you've been dying to like hear me answer, Mark, including have I kept watching One Piece since since the episode 45? Be so, still my beating heart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you have tons of questions, Mark. So let's jump in. I'll try, I'll try my hardest not to sound like Patrick Stewart as I go through this. <laughs> it is tempting, <laughs> but I'll try my hardest not to do this. Okay. So for episodes one and two. Here is my thoughts. I said Zoro seemed cool. And I said Luffy has no problem passing out fades on sight. Four, I said, okay, Shanks seems pretty cool. Fast forward to episode eight. And I said, I'm noticing a theme. They are going to get kicked out of every town that they are in. (laughs) Episode 10. I said, is this man moonwalking? Who is the hypnotist? Why is he Michael Jackson? (laughs) Episode 11. I'm starting to think all pirates are bad. I think I hate this show even more than I originally did. (laughs) Episode 12. Oh, man. Claw door. Claw door. I get it. (laughs) (laughs) Episode 15. Half of this episode is Usopp getting up. Half, and I wrote half in all caps. <laughs> and then later I said, okay, okay, okay. The reveal that the capture of the fake captain led to the Metal Jaw Marine is pretty cool. Yeah. So the Metal Jaw Marine was in like the first couple episodes. Yeah, of One and, Piece. and yeah, it, that's a taste of the world building of One Piece. Just a yes, taste. I was like, that's pretty dope. I just saw this guy's origin in like an episode like, 14 episodes later. That's pretty dope. Okay. 22. I have to give it to Johnny Depp for making pirates look cool because I do not think pirates are cool. (laughs) Watching (laughs) one piece. (laughs) And then I later said, this show should be called On Sight because people get punched or shot at On Sight. (laughs) (laughs) Episode 24. The greatest swordsman is Prince. And mm-hmm. then I said, okay, this was a good episode. And then you'll start to notice the theme as we keep going. <laughs> episode 26. Damn, that's a hell of a backstory, Sanji. <laughs> <laughs> episode 28. This man just punched through a wall of spikes. <laughs> all right, all right. Episode 31. So we got mutants now? What are we doing? This is this is the 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 fish guys, the fish people. The, I'm like, we got the, mutants now. The Arlong pirates, right? Yeah, the Arlongs. Yeah, Arlong's crew. Thirty five. At one point, there was a flashback in the middle of a flashback, and, the, and this was Nami's like whole Nami's Nami's uh, flashback with her her stepsister and stepmom. Yep. Yep. There was there was a couple flashbacks within that. Flashback. Welcome welcome to One Piece, Nels. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to One Piece. 36, simply put, I said, bruh, those pirates are the worst. <laughs> now, who are you talking about there? All of them. <laughs> all of all the all pirates. pirates. <laughs> all the pirates are the worst. Those pirates are the worst. 37, I said, Nami's a real one. 40, 
I said, Usopp's hammer made me laugh. He pulled out a hammer and just beat the brakes yes. out of that dude with the hammer. Yeah. And here's, here's, we're going to talk about Luffy some more. Yes. But here was my take at episode 42. I said, Luffy has got to be the worst pirate on the planet. He can't swim. He can't use swords. <laughs> and he can't navigate. And as I was writing that, Luffy jumps up and says, I know I can't swim. I know I'm a terrible pirate. <laughs> I'm typing as he's saying, I'm like, he's a pirate. He's a terrible pirate. Yeah. And he says, I would be dead if it wasn't for my friends. But you know what I can do? And I'm rephrasing it in my terms. I can throw hands. <laughs> Luffy's pretty much like, I can't do none of this stuff, but you know what I can do? I can throw hands. And, and, and yes, that did. is an ongoing theme for Luffy throughout the whole series. He's like, yeah, I'm an idiot. I have no idea what I'm doing. But you know what I can do? <laughs> <laughs> but I can throw hands. 43, all I wrote is, you'll always be my friend. And then tear emojis. <laughs> And then 44, yes. this is the last yes. entry in my journal. I said, there is a backstory for the damn pinwheel. The pinwheel on the mayor's head? He's like, that was for Nami. Like, what? That, bro, when I saw that there was a backstory for the pinwheel, instant tears. Instant tears. I put three more crying emojis in my journal. And that, Mark Jones, is my journal of the first 45 episodes of One Piece. So now, Would you like to ask it. me questions or do you want to just hear my take on what I think about One Piece? Well, I want to, I want to ask you a couple questions. It sounds like you went through a journey, right? Um, I sure did. And and I, before, before I ask you a couple questions, one thing I, I started getting really nervous when you started your journey because, and I even said, I think I said this to you, I was like, man, One Piece is 20 years old. Anime was very different 20 years ago than it is now. We have the luxury anime now is very, the plots are very streamlined. Yep. The animation's very, very good, very sleek. There's usually not a lot of filler in modern anime. It's Correct. there, but there's not a lot. There's not One a lot. Piece is, yeah, and a lot One... of it is like driven by the plot. Like it's still yes. like relevant to the plot in itself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. One Piece was made in a time where you had lots of filler. You had a lot of characters and you had like frames that implied motion to save money on the animation mm -hmm. so i was thinking about this i was like oh my gosh what have i done i just sent nails N nails has been driving the tesla for the last 10 years and i just put him in a in a in a pinto <laughs> that's fun to drive <laughs> you know <laughs> yes yes it is it's very humbling when you are watching my hero academia and then you go to like episode 24 of One Piece. There's a there's a very stark difference. But lucky for me, I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. And I've been watching anime for a long time. So yeah. like if I was being introduced to anime as a genre in itself, then I would probably like this would this wouldn't be a fair activity for me to do. Yeah. But I've been watching anime since I was what, six? So yeah, this isn't a shocking experience for me. So but yeah. yeah, I just want to get into this, man. What what is your final take about One Piece? Mark, you'll never hear me say One Piece is a bad anime again. No ifs, ands, or buts. You will never hear me say One Piece is a bad anime again. In fact, One Piece is a good anime. Dare I say a damn good anime. I will not say it's great. <laughs> I will not say it's great. But it is a good anime. It is a very good anime. Wow. Wow. I don't and, know what to do with myself. <laughs> and I have watched more. I've watched beyond episode 45. I'm technically on episode like 57 right now. Nels. Nels, are you serious? I'm serious. Oh, I'm watching the bruh. dragon getting escorted to an island right now. Have no oh, idea <laughs> why they keep calling this dragon grandpa. I don't get it. And I don't need to get it. But yes, I've, I've continued on. You're still going? But so here, here's just my general thoughts about One Piece. I'd love to get your reactions, Mark, on okay. this. Okay. I have a problem with the name. 
I, I, and I think part of the core of how I feel about One Piece is because the name of the show is called One Piece. And I don't need, would, have they seen the One Piece yet, Mark? Nels, there are theories about what the One Piece is. Oda has said it's a thing, right? The creator has said, he's like, the One Piece is a thing. So it's not going to be like at the end, the, the treasure was the power of friendship the whole time. He he has said the One Piece is a thing, but like there's theory, dog. There's this whole I before I can even like answer that, like to try to answer that, we just have to talk about One Piece in general because there's so all these dynamics of like the world and the story that like to even try to answer that, we would have to talk about that. So it is a so very deep my, show. I know this is like a particular like a me thing. But I have issues with shows that the title of the show is a thing and we don't get to that thing. Dragon Ball Z is about Dragon Balls. We get to well, know Dragon Balls very early on. Well, here, here, here. <laughs> let, let, let me let me let me continue. My Hero Academia, we see the we school see <laughs> early on. All right. All right. Full Metal Alchemist, we meet Ed and Alfonso in episode one. Okay, you know what well, I'm saying? You, Attack you on Titan. Right. We see a Titan in the first episode. Okay, Nels, you you are right. The 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 general idea though. Here's the thing: you got you got to realize you um, you in the beginning of the show. You know, there's the intro. There once was a man, Goldie Roger, right? Goldie Roger was the man who he was the king of the pirates, and he had the One Piece. He basically started like pirates were a thing. But when he was like, I left everything I had in one place, he every, like he, he started the great world. pirate era. Yes. Like, yes. like I'm like, familiar. Say, I've if, watched the opening many times. <laughs> well, no, what, what, I'm, what I'm getting <laughs> over at is, 45 times, Mark. <laughs> what, I, what I'm getting at is it, it's kind of like, and you you'll you'll get this in the show. Like, dog, there's man, there's like backstory with the government. Like the government, the world government, they want the one piece. They don't want people to know about the one piece. Nels, there's moments in this show where characters are just like, the One Piece is real. And the government's like, no, don't let them say that. You know, like, like there's this all this backstory of hidden times and government cover-ups. And it's just a very deep world. So what I'm getting at is, the point is, it's not just the One Piece. It's like, the search for the One Piece has created all these political dynamics and structures and just people, you know. You know, I still got that twinge of One Piece hater in me because I've had <laughs> twenty years of it built up. And when I hear you say that, I'm like, man, that's some bull. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I can't knock it. That sounds intriguing. Like just because I've 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 seen the world, and so I see what they could do with that, and I'm like, okay, that actually would be dope to watch. There, because there. But hearing you say it. The hater in me is the just hater. like that's some bull. That's some bull. Like I don't some... like. Come on now, that's some bull. But yeah, I hear you. All you... right, so let me let me go on. So go I ahead, have a problem ahead. with the name. Yeah, that is what it is. The other thing is Luffy. To this day, I still don't know how I feel about Luffy, and I think that's wild that I can get close to sixty episodes and still not have a definitive feeling about the main character. And it's it's like. The reasons I hate Luffy, he knows it. And he's like, yes, I know. <laughs> I know you probably hate me because of these things. Yeah. But like, here I am. And you're still going to cheer me on when it's time for a fight. And, yeah. and, and so like, I, I reminded me that my issues with Goku. Well, I have some issues with Dragon Ball Z in general. But my issues with Goku as a main character are essentially the same issues I have with Luffy. Mm -hmm. Which is like, come on, brother. Like, like, come on, have some common sense and like put yourself in some like good situations. But when the fight's going down, please believe I want him there. When there is a fight, please believe I am excited when he enters the scene. Even though he is dumb for the first half of the fight, that second half of the fight is glorious. Yeah. Which fight am I talking about? <laughs> All the fights. All the fights. <laughs> All the fights. <laughs> Every single one of them. All the fights. That first half, I'm like, Luffy, you idiot. And then that second half, I'm like, I got my hand up. 
<laughs> got my hat down. I'm like, I'm like the straw has did it again. It baby. Did, did it again. <laughs> Let it ride. Luffy. What an idiot, but my man Luffy. <laughs> now, so I still don't know how I feel about Luffy, but one thing mm-hmm. I can say is I love the crew. I cannot yes. lie, Mark Jones. I love that crew. Okay. All of them. Even Usopp. He I hated him Yo, for a while. Oh. But he, I, got so I, came <laughs> I came around on Usopp. I came around on Usopp. But like I love that crew. I can't I can't Mark, I can I cannot can, can we can we just go through the crew real quick? Yes. Can we just kind of yes. go through so so where you're at now, there's what? There's four crew. There's it's Usopp. No, five. Usopp, Zoro, Sanji, Nami, and Luffy, right? Yep. That's where I am. All right. So let's just run through like everyone right now. Because the great thing. I was watching a YouTuber. I think his name was Toon Starter. Shout out to him. He he went through the same thing and he finished. He caught up to One Piece. He said the greatest thing about One Piece is the world is so big. The Straw Hats and Luffy are the main characters of the show, but they are not the main characters of the world that they live in. <laughs> yes. There's yes. things happening. Big, big deal things are happening outside of luffy and his crew that really matter to the story when you watch dragon ball z vegeta and goku are the center of that universe they are the center of everything that happens in that universe they cause everything that happens in that universe that is not the deal in one piece and one piece luffy will take out a heavy hitter and people are like oh dog well he's the heavy hitter on this side of the ocean but the government is worried about this dude. Like, they're not even worried about you right now. They're worried about this dude. You know what I mean? And there's a lot of that that happens in One Piece. So just to run to the crew, let's start with Luffy. I completely understand what you, you just said. Luffy is an interesting character because he is, like, he's just pure. He's just, like, he is he is stupid, but he's somehow very emotionally intelligent. Like, he mm-hmm. kind of knows what people need and, and knows, like, but all he knows is, like, the raw way to give it to him, right? So he's not going to, when he met Cody, uh, Kobe, you know, he hit him on the head when he first met him. And he's like, why'd you do that? And, you know, he said, well, it looked like you needed it. it looked like you were kind of freaking out. So I hit you on the head. Can, can I just jump in real quick? Yeah, with yeah. Because let's just be honest. He is a typical 90s anime main character right now he is okay right now he is there are like the what what people love about the straw hats and one piece is the found they are a found family they might hate each other they might kick each other in the face stab each other call each other idiots but don't you dare not be a member of that crew and mess with one of them don't you (laughs) dare i have seen that (laughs) don't like yo only I can punch him. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You can't put your hands on him or her. Like there are that there is are, my family. And that's that's the appeal of Luffy. Luffy wants his thing in this whole thing from day one. I want to find the one piece and I want to be King of the Pirates. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like mm-hmm. that's his that's it. That's simple. It. That's MO. I want to find the one piece and I want to be the king of the pirates. That's it. And I need a crew to do it, and I want to have some fun along the way, right? Nels. There have been moments in movies and this show where Luffy could be walking down the street and someone was like, hey, you know what? I think I'll be King of the Pirates. He's like, shut up. Hey, hey, no, me. I'm King of the Pirates. You know, <laughs> and like want to fight that person, right? And like, <laughs> that's his like only like, don't, dog, you can punch me. You can fight me. You can try to kill me. But there's been moments in the show where Luffy's fighting people and they're like, You'll never be king of the pirates. And he's like, what did you say? Like, they're beating his ass. And he's like, you're going to be king of the pirates? He's like, don't you ever say I won't be king of the pirates. Dog, the great thing about him is that Luffy will give all that up for his crew. He will. There are so many moments in this show, in this series, where Luffy is so willing to die for his crew. And, and, and moments where he hates himself because he couldn't protect them. There's 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 a pivotal moment in the show. I won't give up much where Luffy can't protect some people of the crew, and he's like, he's like, I'm a joke. Did I, I thought I could be king of the pirates? I can't even protect my crew. Like his crew Ooh. is the most important thing Ooh, to bars. him. 
You know what I'm saying? Okay. And okay. so that's why people love Luffy as a character. Mm. Dog, Zoro, Nels, Zoro is the realest, like, road dog in anime history. Like, Zoro has Luffy's back until the end of time. Like, he he is the, like, better than, you You name a, like, a road dog in, in, in anime, Zoro's better than him. Al, you know, Full Metal is always what you can pull up. Okay. Let, let's just okay. Let's yeah, yeah. We can't yeah. Use let's just metal. keep full metal out of this. <laughs> yeah, keep full metal out of this because it's on a whole nother level. You yes. know, <laughs> it's like it's like using Miami in two thousand one NCAA. You like you yes. can't just stop can't, it. It's not fair. All right, <laughs> <laughs> but but when it comes to Luffy and his goal of becoming the king of the pirates, Zoro is the real one. He is down. He he will give his life for his captain, right? Mm. Nami, and I, I told you, like when you were getting into it, I was like, dog, they go into Nami's backstory to this day. And Nels, you're you're in the, the beginning of the show. People still to this day, and, and this is why I said 45 episodes. Because if you can get to this Nami backstory with the Arlon Pirates and and not like it, then one piece is not for you. Yeah. But if you yeah. like, this is the goal, you gotta get people to all along Arlong Park. And if they don't like One Piece, then it's not for them. But even Nami's backstory, I was like, yo, I was like, One Piece is layers. I'm like, they're going to go into why Nami is so coveted and so, like, greedy and, and loves money. And they did. Yeah. Because they she did. had to spend, you know? <laughs> it makes so much sense. Like, that story, oh, my goodness. That, like, it. it's still wild to me that I watched a backstory and then there was backstories within the backstory. And I wasn't hating it. I was all in. And like, again, at this point in the show, I'm like, mm, I don't know how I feel about One Piece. Still, at this point. But that backstory, I was like, man, that is like... And then when the backstory ends, and Nami is just like, like, she gets screwed so bad. And you know all the stuff that led to that moment. And you're just like, your heart is broken. Because you're yeah. like, yo, she has spent damn near her entire life trying her, to save her Pretty much her entire people. adult life. Yeah. And you find out the people knew that she was saving her life, but they didn't want to say anything because they didn't want her to know that all their hopes and dreams is in this one person who spent her entire life trying to get... And they screw her! And and Luffy don't know none of that. None of it. None of it. Luffy knows none, none of it. He just sees her cry, and he's like, Oh, tell me what's up. And she turns around and says, help. And to keep in mind, Nels, she stole his ship. She stole his ship. He had a ship. They were on their way to the Grand Line. And, and Nami's just like, yo, I got business, y'all. I'm taking the ship peace. And everyone, like, we got to go after Nami. And Luffy's like, oh, well, if she took the ship, she must have had a good reason. Don't worry. We'll catch up to her. And everyone's like, yo, Luffy, like, we can't trust Nami. After They're like, yo, that, Luffy, and she is a thief. We She's met a her a dirty a thief. thief. <laughs> she is a thief. Zoro's like, hell no. Nah. But yeah. if Luffy tells me to do it, I'm gonna do it. But yeah. Zoro's still like hell. Zoro still don't like Nami. <laughs> still. And this is why people love Luffy because when they get to the island and they meet Nami's sister, her stepsister, she's like, "Well, let me tell y'all." She's like, "Basically, sit down. Let me tell you the backstory of Nami." And so Zoro, Sanji, and Usopp are like. All right, yeah, well, like, please explain. We want to know why she stole our ship. And Luffy's like, nah, I don't need to hear I'm this. good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm going to go look for Nami. Y- y'all take care, right? And so mm-hmm. and they listen to the backstory, and it's devastating, and it's heartbreaking. And so all of them have clarity. They're like, okay, we get why Nami did what she did, so let's go help her. Luffy didn't need any of that. He He just saw Nami was crying in pain. He's like, who hurt you? Hey, who? Who, who, who hurt you? <laughs> who, who, who hurt you? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> who, y'all don't even understand what we're talking Bruh, about. <laughs> he was like, who hurt you? Point me in the direction. Say less. And and when and Nels, when he gives Nami, first of all, that let's just, when, when Nami, Nami is part of the Arlong Pirates and she's so mad at Arlong, she has the, his, his brand on her, tattooed on her arm, 
She starts stabbing her she own stabbing her own arm, bro. Own tattoo, just Arlog. Ar and yo, that is one moment. Let me just say real quick. I know we talked about dubs and subs. I think that is one moment where the the dub actress did better than the sub actress. Wow. Yeah. Wow. When, when, Nami, when Nami is like, Arlog, Arlog, and she's just so mad. She's just stabbing her arm. Mark, and Luffy, I, I have to I have to tell you, I was all in in that scene, <laughs> bro. I was all like, I, I, you know, I, sometimes I might have like, I might be like reading something. I might have some work pulled up. I might have like, you know, playing a game on my phone while this is going on. Nah, -uh. during that scene, yeah, bro, my undivided attention. I was leaning in. She was just like, Arlong, Arlong. I was just like, oh my goodness. You're like, she's like, just mutilating herself, right? And I and Luke felt, I felt the hate, and we just saw what her like the past ten years of her life was like. And so yeah, bro, it was. You wild. know what's so great about that scene? Because she has no one to lash out to, and she's just she's mad at Arlong, but she hates herself. Because mm -hmm. she got played. You know what I'm saying? So, like, she just stabs the tattoo. Luffy grabs her hand, takes the knife from her, and she's just like, get out of here. You don't know nothing about this. You didn't sit down and listen to the backstory. <laughs> get the hell out of here, Luffy. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just throwing sand at him. She's like, I don't need you. Get out of here. And she's just sitting there. And then Nels, she just starts crying. And she just looks at Luffy. She goes, Luffy, help me. And Luffy puts his hat on her that in the in the previous episodes he told now he's like don't you ever touch my hat he's like mm -hmm. don't you ever lay a finger on this is my hat i love this hat so nami knows how important this hat to him it is his it is. only treasured possession yeah. yeah this man almost died to try to get this hat back and then yeah. you get the backstory about the hat <laughs> It's like yeah. the only character at that point that I thought was cool, which is Shanks, lost his damn arm to save him. It gave him his hat. Of course, yeah. Luffy loves that hat. And his most treasured possession, he puts on Nami and is like, say less. I don't know what he yeah. actually said, Mark, but in Yo, my mind, so I heard she, say less. She, <laughs> she, I, he so in the, in the sub, I think in the sub, he says something like, that's what friends do or something like that. But she's like, Luffy, help me. And he puts the hat on her. And he's like, of course I will. Mm -hmm. And then Nels, we get the walk to Arlon part. Luffy's like, let's go. And the rest of the Straw Hats are waiting for him. They are already Bruh. there. <laughs> Suited and booted. Ready to They're just go. Like, <laughs> and so, like, when I was, I think, I think we talked about this now that I remember it. And so I'm like, I see Luffy turn around and start walking. And the crew is already there. So that tells me this. The crew was already like, where's Nami? We're, and it's over. Yeah. They look and see that Luffy is comforting them. And they know Luffy well enough to know, like, all right, it's going down. <laughs> as soon as Luffy turns around, they were already ready. Like, let's go. Usopp was, was walking confidently to Arlong Park. Like, yep, I don't care that they're mutant fish. I am ready for battle because I'm down to protect Nami. Bruh. Yeah. I hated this show, Mark. <laughs> I hate... Can we just remind the pop call? I hated this show for close to 20 years. That scene, Mark, I was hype, bruh. I was hype like evil Vegeta versus Goku hype. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I had, yeah. I was so hyped for this fight. And it that whole walk, I was like, I have to see what happens. I what, have to see it through. It is one of my favorite moments in anime. Just that whole mm. from Nami to the to, to, and 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 I love the way that episode ends because Luffy's like, "Let's go," and the rest of the Straw Hats are like, "Right," and so they all walk to Online Park, and the rest of the town they're, they're like, "Yo, Nami, you've done enough. Enough is enough. Arlong might kill us, but we're not going to let him do this to you anymore." So, and Nami's like, "He is going to kill y'all." No, and they're like, sorry, Nami, we can't let him do this. So the rest of the town is already at Arlong's spot trying to fight him. So then Luffy and them show up. I just love the the Arlong's there laughing. He's like, ha ha, I took Nami's money, blah, blah, blah. And Luffy punches down the wall, concrete wall, and Arlong's like, what the hell is that? And then Luffy's like, which one of you is Arlong? And then the episode. He don't even ends. know that, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> he don't even know that, man. He don't know nothing about the Pirates. He oh, said, my just goodness. point me to Arlong. I got business. Like, <laughs> So anyways, <laughs> so I love Nami. the crew. <laughs> that's Nami, right? So w- real quick with, with yes. Usopp. We'll finish up the rest of the crew. Usopp. I understand. Usopp is very annoying. I did not like Usopp for a while. But here's the thing you got to realize about Usopp. He is a coward, right? But he, he, and you'll see this if you keep your journey in one piece, you'll see this through and through. He's a coward when it's only in regards to his own safety. If it's it's, a, it's just, a Krillin. He's a Krillin. He's a Krillin. He's yeah. a Krillin. Funny enough, in the dub, it's the same voice actor. The that's, voice actor. Probably where that, <laughs> that's probably where I'm getting that connection. But good casting, when, by the way. When everyone Japan. else is involved, when when the other crew is involved, he musters up the strength to do what's right. But if it's just him, oh, I'm gonna run away. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna run away, and I'll live to fight another day. But Usopp definitely and, has great. Moments and I would say it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool that Usopp also has a connection to Shanks's crew. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, the, the Red Hair Pirates or whatever. Yeah, the Red Hair Pirates. His dad's the, a member of his. Since of his Shanks dad's a crew. member, that's like at least one other person in that boat that has like a tie to that whole other crew. And I just find that fascinating because, like, there's clearly like strong connections between this crew and that crew, and I'm assuming at some point they'll eventually meet. But yeah, I think that's just like a nice little additional twing to the story that just makes it that much palpable. Here's the here's the other thing too, right? That makes Usopp, Usopp and Nami so great because Usopp and Nami understand that they are human beings and they yes. live in a human being world, but they they understand like, okay, these other guys on the crew are freaks. Zoro's a freak, Luffy's a freak, and Sanji's a freak, right? So when they go do freakish <laughs> things, that doesn't mean that we can do freakish things too. So, no. <laughs> so they are very funny. aware of their mortality. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 there's a lot of humor in one piece because it's like Usopp and the Nami are like, guys, we are human beings. <laughs> this will kill us. Like, stop it. Stop it now. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yeah, that you know what, and they're still down for the fight, and I gotta get they're still down for the fight, and, like, and then just Usopp is a liar though, man. Like he, he this man still calls himself Captain Usopp. Like, come on, bro. Anyways, yeah, Us- then, I've I've warmed up to Usopp. So to to wrap with Sanji, at one point Sanji was my favorite character. Dog, just like you he's the cool. Mark? What's up? Something? He's currently my favorite. Character. He's currently your favorite. Okay, yes. it makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> the coolest simp in anime. The cool, the coolest, the only anime. cool simp in anime. <laughs> <laughs> just his his backstory is is just man. I I can't even go into. It. There's things going on with Sanji nails that you haven't even. Like, there's more dog. There's just so much, but just such a cool like. I I think he's such a cool concept that he's a chef, so he dare not use his hands to fight. So he you he kicks. He uses his legs, and he be putting in that work he on dudes' faces, breaking, man. <laughs> he be breaking them down. He be whooping. And I, I mean, like, look, they all be whooping. But Sanji, the reason I love Sanji is he's whooping them just with his legs. <laughs> just, he is kicking the mess out of all of them just with his I, legs. He is, he is as strong as Zoro. Yeah. He is still whooping him just by kicking legs, man. I it's think dope. Sanji has the best fight in the Arlong Park arc. And and I mean Luffy's fight's really good, Zoro's fight's good, but like Sanji just wrecks this dude. Like he the dude's like, I'm gonna beat you. And Sanji's just so pissed. And Sanji just kicks him in the face, kicks him in the back of the head. Like it it, it looks brutal as hell. <laughs> no, I, I felt bad for buddy. I and like look. Sanji was drowning earlier. Yeah. And so, and then like Sanji so pissed. It was like, what, three kicks? And he ended yeah. the fight. It was ridiculous. It was like three or four kicks and it was over. Like <laughs> kicking the face. And look, oh, I think I wrote it down. I, yo, this is how crazy <laughs> that fight was. Sanji was telling him where he was going to kick him. He did. It. And Buddy he couldn't did. stop it. It's like kicking the face, kicking the jaw, <laughs> kicking the stomach, kicking, kicking the. He was just telling him where he was kicking him, and that was it. And the fight was over. You know, you know, oh, you remember in football they would tell us never leave your feet. As soon as Sanji kicked that dude, he left his feet. His feet came up <laughs> in the air. 
Bruh, oh my goodness. Hey, that's cur- that's currently why Sanji's my favorite character. You told him where you gonna kick him. He knows you're not punching, so he knows there's only one attack coming his way, and he couldn't stop it. And he is a mutant fish, <laughs> and he couldn't stop it. I love the crew. That's what mm-hmm. we just talked about. I don't really like the animation. Like this just it's a that's, it's a it's... it's a unique animation, and it's not my vibe. The skinny nose is the the slinkiness, it's weird. The I'll, I'll, I'll say this. The character design is very unique. It's I the closest thing I've seen to character design, like One Piece, is probably Fairy Tale. And it's yeah. still not yeah. the same. But the animation does improve as the technology gets better and the, the budget got bigger. The the animation does become a lot better. Okay, we'll see. So I said I think I've told you this. The pirates are terrible. Pirates are terrible <laughs> people. And you know what? So are the Marines or the Navy, whatever yes, they're called. They're that's terrible. The point. That is the and point. And then guess what? Everyone's terrible. <laughs> Everyone's terrible. Every- Everyone is terrible in this show. They're it's all a great terrible world. people. Yeah. Except for the Straw Hats. <laughs> <laughs> they're the only redeeming folks. And I guess the friends they make along the way. But everyone is terrible. Terrible, terrible people. So I said... The one thing I just found hilarious, every time they end up on a new island and Luffy shows up on the scene and does something bendy, rubber bendy, everyone immediately goes, you ate the devil fruit, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> it's the, it's like, I can't imagine living in a world and you see somebody do something ridiculous and you're just reminded, oh yeah, there's this thing that if you eat it, you become a freak of nature. <laughs> yes. Yes. And so everybody sees Luffy. Their immediate thought is like, how did he do this? Or like, oh God, we're screwed. They're like, nope, you ate the devil fruit, didn't you? It is it I find it hilarious because it's still happening and showing up. And I'm like, yeah. dang, every like I can't imagine this world that all these folks are living in that they're just like, Oh, there's a devil fruit person again. Right right now, right now, where they are in the story, devil fruits are rare. So it's like it, it's the, it, they're so rare that people don't even think they really exist. But a lot more devil fruit show up. <laughs> as we, oh my goodness! A lot. I'll, and Nels, let me tell you this: some devil fruits are very cool, very cool powers, and some are so stupid. It's kind of like My Hero Academia, where you can have very cool quirks, and then you can have I pull great. Sticky grapes off Sticky my head. Grapes off my head. <laughs> <sighs> okay. The I think I have like two more takes. The reason I kept going, like it isn't really because I think this show is like the greatest show ever. And it's not because I'm committed to seeing the end of the story, because I am not committed to a thousand episodes of anything. Understandable. I'll be diggity dog damn. So like if if One Piece got off of Netflix and wasn't on Hulu or anything like that. I probably wouldn't be crying. I probably just like ask you a few questions and like, you know, yeah. go like keep it moving. But the reason I kept going is this is a great background show. This is a great like a great background show. There's not a lot of anime. There there might not be any anime that is a great background show. Maybe Cowboy Bebop. Maybe Samurai Shampoo, but not as good as One Piece. Bruh, you can keep One Piece on, you can get work done, and you can still be in the story. And it's still a great story. Like, I don't know. You can fold. It is the perfect show to fold your laundry to. Like, the it, perfect show. It's a perfect, you got, you clean the house, you like doing anything on the side. It is the perfect, it's just like a great background show. I, yeah. Yeah, do you, like, I saw you now in your head. Do you agree? Like, what's your take on it? Because that I, was like I, something I noticed. I think right now, Nils, it could be a great background show. It becomes a very dense story. Oh, wow. It becomes a very emotional story where there's details you're going to want to get. There's there's like oh, wow. people who say things or do things that you're going to want to pay attention to. I this is this is a reference I've used with, you know, you and Shannon before, but I I don't think I've ever said it on the podcast. So I'll use I'll use Dragon Ball as an allegory. Okay. One Piece does things where if you take the whole universe of Dragon Ball, let's say we're in Dragon Ball and we're at the martial arts tournament and Goku's fighting Piccolo, right? Beerus from Dragon Ball Super 
will be at that tournament talking to Frieza and be like, oh, okay, oh, you see that guy Goku? Uh, I think he's pretty strong. He's he's making his way. All right, I got business to go handle. And we will never see Beerus again until Dragon Ball Super. Right? <laughs> <laughs> are you de- are you describing the greatest swordsman ever? <laughs> Yeah, that like Mihawk, Mihawk, right? Like, yeah. me, but Mihawk, Mihawk is sprinkled in through this series. But I'm telling you, man, One Piece does stuff like this all the time, where like villains or characters just kind of like pop up and like, "Yo, Luffy, what's up? You like hamburgers? I like hamburgers too. You want to have a hamburger? Nah. All right, man. Peace." And they'll be the most important character to the series <laughs> down the line. <laughs> like, and so I think right now it could be a good background show. But there's going to come a point if you keep on this journey where you're not going to want it to be a background show. Wow. You're going to be so invested into the characters and the world that you're just going to watch. That's ridiculous. Okay, well, here's my last take then. I think the show is good because of the flashbacks and backstories like i think like i think i'm in like i liked the show and enjoyed watching the show the parts of the show that i enjoyed is because of the backstories is because they tell me like they make this character like that much more deeper and dense and make their motivations that much more cooler and the type of person i am when i'm watching stuff like i want to like i'm invested in the world building and like how great of a job you do in your world building and so because like it's such a core part of watching one piece is like the background the story the flashback to help tell you why why people are where they are right now it's like an easy reason for me to like enjoy it when i'm watching yeah. so that's that's that, my assumption is i think that's why one piece is good yeah and no you you're absolutely right that's the beauty of one piece because you could just have people fight you could just have luffy fight someone but if you do a flashback and understand that this guy Luffy is fighting is doing this because his dad was a jerk or abused him, it, it just makes it such a more dynamic story. So there, there's a lot of that in One Piece. There's a lot of there. There is no waste in One Piece. One Piece is That's ridiculous is, for it. One Piece is like show. That's ridiculous. You, you know how you know how the the Native Americans used all the buffalo. That's one piece. There Almost is no every culture waste. except for Americans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All parts of an animal. But yeah. There's please, no please. waste in one piece. Like Oda, dog, we get we get an Arlong backstory eventually. Why ain't he dead? I, I could have <laughs> like the things they did <laughs> to that crew. Same with Buggy. I thought Buggy was dead. <laughs> This bit, like, how am I getting even more of a backstory with Buggy? And then the ugly lady from the first episode is now the bad lady in the, yes, in the show. Yes, yes. Make she it make shows sense, up. Mark. And then this Dude. smoke guy, <laughs> like this Smoker, guy who controls you... smoke. I'm like, how are you not the most powerful guy in the military? You control smoke. Oh, Nels, like, Nels. He's nowhere near the most powerful person in, in the Marines. Smoker's cool. I like Smoker. And, and, he has a long standing in the show. He is nowhere near the most powerful person in the Marines. I, I don't even know where to start. Like, I'm so excited that you're still watching One Piece. Can I ask you this? Yes. What What do you think about, there's not really power levels in One Piece, right? So what do you think about the use of bounties? What do you think about oh, that? Yeah. That's, that is, I think that's how you get Dragon Ball Z fans bought into One Piece. Because, you know, for a good, like, what, three arcs? We were, like, power levels. Power levels was our thing in Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. And so for it to be bounties, like, when I saw that Luffy came in at 30 million and saw where Buggy was and saw where uh, the old girl was, I was like, ooh, this is going to be a thing. And then, Mm -hmm. like, if you know, if you go online and you're like, man, well, I wonder how much this guy's bounty is. And you start to see, like, oh, there's a hundred million dollar bounties. There are billion dollar bounties. Yes. And you're like, oh wow. And Luffy's bounty keeps going up. You're like, dang, I kind of want to see what a 60 million Luffy looks like, what a yeah. 300 million Luffy looks like. You know what I'm saying? So 
and that I it, think that's what they're trying to tell me, but like tell me if I'm I'm wrong. Well, no, no, you're not wrong, but here's the beautiful thing about bounties in One Piece. They're not necessarily your power level. Bounties represent how much a threat you are to the world government in One Piece. And so that doesn't necessarily mean you are the strongest person. It just means the government wants you dead. So that that's the cool thing about bounties. It's it's not Luffy is, you know, they they you saw that part. They said hey, most rookies come with a bounty of seven or eight million, but they see Luffy as such a uh, potential threat. They're like, let's just let's just end this before it turns into something. And put his bounty at thirty million. So that's the that's the really cool thing about bounties in One Piece. So you can't really tell who the strongest person is. No, be, there could be people without a bounty that just wreck havoc. <laughs> but wow. But I mean, you get a sense. Like, don't don't get it twisted. When when someone has like a hundred million dollar bounty, a, a, a billion dollar bounty, it's not just for no reason. Okay, can I ask you one other question? Yeah, yeah. Is Shanks or Mihawk, are they the strongest? Are they close to the strongest? They are not to be played with, right? Okay. Do you see Shanks fight in like the regular series, not the movies? Like, do you see him like throw down? I don't wanna I don't wanna spoil anything for you. Let, okay. Let's just just say let, just say yes or no. Yes. Okay. You, you okay. eventually see. And I'm talking about the 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 manga too. You eventually okay. see Shanks do something, but like dog, like all right, here nails. I'm gonna paint a picture for you, and I'm I'm trying not to spoil something. But there's a moment, a, a big, huge arc in One Piece where there is a straight up war. There's a war, and there are some heavy hitters nails in this war. Like strong, like like it's a tournament of power. It's like the gods of destruction are in this war. Wow. People are dying. Big things are happening, right? Shanks shows up and tells everyone to go home, and they do. That's what I say about Shanks. He basically is like, the war is over. Everyone go home. And they, they're like, yeah, you know what? It's been a long day. We're all going to go home. <laughs> so Who that's is the this kind man? Of- <laughs> Who is this man? <laughs> what? That's what you're dealing with with Shanks. He he. So you're telling me that crew, that Shanks crew is like not to be le- trifled with, like legit, legit. So Usopp's dad is like the greatest he, sniper. Because yeah. and I reason I asked that is because I just saw the person that they're saying should be like the greatest sniper, the greatest gun slinger ever, and he finds out that Usopp is the son of the guy. He's like, yo. I'm not in the Marines anymore because of your dad. Yeah. <laughs> your dad is so good. He made He's me like, your change dad is the my truth. life. <laughs> he made me change. I just want to protect my daughter now. I don't even want to be in the Marines anymore because your dad could have killed me because he, he's that nice. <laughs> he basically said, I saw your dad and said, I want to live. <laughs> I just want to live. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, in any other in any other part of One Piece from what I've seen, that means Usopp's dad would be the captain of a fleet of pirates. And he's just on the crew of Shanks. That's yeah. yeah. So that's you kind of answer some questions. Yeah. Yeah. There's some they're they're heavy that hitters, to be though. played with. And the straw hats become heavy hitters and they 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 get more crew and and you love all the crew members and they're 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 just the best. They're they're the best. So and they all have amazing backstories. And I'm just really excited. Can, can I? Can I? Can I ask you this? Go if, ahead. If you Feel continue free. this, if you continue this journey, can we have One Piece check-ins on this show? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, I don't know how far I'm going to go into this journey. So, just to kind of like give you my resounding thoughts on One Piece, especially compared to other animes, I, I like it is telling that. I just got to give a lot of props to animes nowadays. Like My Hero Academia, it took me, what, maybe three episodes to be like, or four episodes to get like really into My Hero. Attack on Mm -hmm. Titan, it took one. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. And like like some of the other ones, like I'll I'll just quit and it could be really good, but I'll just, I won't give it a chance anymore. 
Black Clover, I probably gave it a good 20 episodes and I was like, nah, I ain't feeling it. Demon Slayer, I gave like five and I'm sure I've heard it's like one of the best animes out there, but like I gave it five and I was like, uh-uh. Yeah. So One Piece, it took 45. Yeah. It took 45 episodes. So like, I gotta say, like compared to like nowadays animes, that's one thing, but it's 20 minutes. So it breezes by when you're watching. It does. Like it's, you can stack. Like I watched 45 episodes in 10 days. Like it, it yeah. stacks up really nice and easy. If you skip I the would, intros and the outros, you can move through One Piece pretty quick. Yeah, I will say, you know, my hero is is up there. Full Metal Alchemist is still the best to me. But like, I will put One Piece over Fairy Tale. I'll put One Piece. One Piece is probably better than Hunter Hunter. You know what I'm saying? Like it it probably is. And like it's, you know, it I can see if somebody tells me it's better than Dragon Ball Z. I could I could probably understand why they're saying that argument. And I'll do one even more for you, Mark. If I was a teenager and this came out on Toonami and I was watching it on a regular basis back in the late 90s, early 2000s, I completely understand why this would be my GOAT. Mm -hmm. I completely understand why like, folks would be like, no, this is my show. Yeah. Like, forget all these other shows, this is my show. Because like, this, at that time, would be much more quality than what we were getting. You much more quality than what we were getting. You know what's really funny, man? The 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 journey you went on and you've explained on this episode, I've heard this story so many times, Nels. And and I just think the biggest hurdle to One Piece is that it's so long. It's so dense. And everyone's like, I don't got the I don't got the 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 bandwidth to be getting into a thousand episodes. But it, it it's like that's the biggest hurdle. Because every time I see these, I watch One Piece, they start like you. They're like, uh, I don't know. It's okay. Oh man, Mihawk's cool. Oh, Zoro, swords in the uh, scars on the back of a, a swordsman's shame. Like, he's the truth. And then they get to Arlong Park and they're like, yo, this show! And, <laughs> and it just keeps going up, right? So it, it, that's the hard thing, is like just getting people to dedicate those like first kind of episodes to, to see this show through. And I, I do think once you see it through and you see... Because One Piece only gets better. I'll say this. Not every arc is better than the last, but they're all good quality. And this the show in the world just keep growing. This world just keeps expanding and expanding. And you just find out more and more. And you realize that, you know, the 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 world government is up to things. There's things that we don't know about. I mean, Nels, we 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 don't even know why the devil fruits exist. You know what I'm saying? Like you find out why, why the devil fruits exist. We still don't know why they exist. Oh my goodness! There's there's rumors and there's there's hints and and I'll say, eventually people start making artificial devil fruits mm. in the show, but we don't know at right now as us as readers we don't know where the devil fruits came from. So like just even that like like why, why are they here? Why is it when you eat a devil fruit, you lose the ability to swim? You know what I mean? Like, it's it's just, there's so much into the show. Yeah, man. I wish there was a, a condenser way to give One Piece to people. I wish there was, like, One Piece light. Like, here, just warm this up and you'll be caught up in, in a day. But there, there's not. That's the only tragedy about One Piece is that you gotta, you gotta get into it because you can't skip. Now, there's filler. That you can skip. There's definitely filler you can skip, but you can't skip these episodes. If you did not watch Luffy meeting Nami, meeting Zoro, meeting Sanji, then Arlong Park means nothing. And that's the like hardest thing about getting people into One Piece. Long storytelling is a very genuine anime thing, especially 90s anime and mm -hmm. 2000s anime, like the Naruto's and like the Inuyasha autumn shows like long form storytelling and like when you're younger 
you you love it because you can like commit to it and you want to build with the story because like you're all about it but like this is the longest <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> like the longest and that you like that's a big ass hurdle you know what i'm saying like it that is. is it is that is a that is a legit big hurdle it and there's not gonna be a lot of people out there who are gonna take 20 years to convince their best friends to watch (laughs) this show (laughs) you know what i'm saying so like that's a huge hurdle but man yeah i i kid you not i went from downright hating this show to saying it's a it's a good anime and it's worth watching you know what i'm saying like that's one thing that's a lot to keep in mind too if this show was not good it wouldn't have lasted 20 years Something has to be good to last that long. It, it just has to. You can't... If something sucks, it's not going to be around for 20 years. So that must mean something. Yeah. Yeah. True. True. If I gave you another number to reach, and I and I was like, Nels, I'm telling you, you reach this number, One Piece might become your favorite show of all time. Would you trust me? After, based off what you saw, would you... If oh I yeah, said... I believe you. I believe you. Okay. Yeah, I believe okay. you. I just hate. I just hate <laughs> that I'm admitting that I believe you. Cause like you, cause you knew the exact moment that I was like, you're either gonna like it or not. And I watched it and I was like, that's the moment. I was like, this is a good show. <laughs> so if you told me like I know the exact moment this will be your favorite show, I'll believe you because I would absolutely do everything in my power to not watch that episode to not get to that episode (laughs) my heart 20 years mark the majority of my life i've not liked one piece it's it's very hard to it's very hard to not the all might the all might fist in the air (laughs) you're next (laughs) you're next next, (laughs) just staring at my hands i I passed the flame on to you brother you are next (laughs) I'm too old. I'm too old for this. Oh, I can't man. do this. I love uh, it, man. I love it. I man, I'm I'm very happy, dog. I'm very pleased. Like I I I feel at peace. I feel like I feel like that night at the end of uh, Last Crusader. <laughs> like <laughs> finally, I could go at peace. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> like I've been watching this watching over this one thing for 20 years and now i can go to rest so i'm 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 very happy that you had a experience with one piece and you enjoyed it and i i really hope nails that you continue it even if you take your time because there is i know there's stuff in here that is just gonna like you tell me stuff about my hero academia that like you're like oh my god this got me i'm like man you get here in one piece and you might have to like not go to work the next day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, we shall see. We shall see. The anime, you, you, for those of you in the pop call, if you're still listening and anime is not your jam, it is because you have not found the right one. Because let me tell y'all something. Anime is amazing. It is amazing. It is. You it will is. find your favorite show on anime. I promise you. Even if you like basketball, they have basketball anime. They have Food Network anime. You know what I'm saying? Like they make everything better. It's like space. Spice of they life make everything anime. Better. Yeah. Any man. any genre, any like anything you could think of. They have just straight up like detective anime. So it's a great art form, and I'm glad it exists. And I'm glad that after 20 years, my friend and I can talk about One Piece. You don't know how much that means to me. <laughs> well, you're welcome. And to our mutual friend, remind me for who I was, not who I am. <laughs> you're next. You're next. <laughs> I, 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 I carried the bloodstained banner for as long as I could. And now it's on you. All right. Anything else, brother? Uh, no, nah, man, that's it. This was great. This is what I needed. I, I've, I've, I've had a rough couple weeks now. I needed this conversation. So thank you for for watching One Piece and 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 recording this episode with me. Well, thank you Mark and thank you Pop Cult. Thank you for <laughs> listening. We have a new episode every month. You can find us on all social media at Pop Cult Parent P O P C U L T P A R E N T. 
visit us at www.popcultparent.com. Email us at popcultparent at gmail.com. Don't forget to rate us, review, and subscribe. And as always, the cult. Peace. Thank you.